Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about the modern versus the classic SharePoint interface. What you're seeing in front of you right now is the classic interface that was introduced with SharePoint 2013. And here you have the ribbon. You see you have the browse and the page tabs in this ribbon. That's one of the signifying things of a, a classic page. If I go into documents now, you'll notice that this changes quite a bit. There is no ribbon up here. There's no page, things like that. So instead, they've moved the library settings, for example. So if you want to get to the library setting, you have to find that under the gearbox there. Instead of having the ribbon, you'll notice that they have this little toolbar instead. That shows you the most important, the most commonly used ones. And also notice this little ellipses here where you have some more actions. And this also, just like the ribbon, changes depending on what you select. So if you select an item here, you get different options um, depending on what you select. Now I selected a folder, here I selected a document, and that will give you some more options on that. So if you want to switch between the modern UI and the classic SharePoint, then you have a button here, return to classic SharePoint. And that of course will get you back to the ribbon interface and uh, you have the exit classic experience to go back. That way you can switch back and forth between the classic experience and the modern experience. You can also permanently go into library settings and under the advanced settings at the bottom, you'll find that the list experience, you can set that here, the default or the new experience or the classic experience. There's no way to consistently make sure that you always get the new experience because some types of lists in SharePoint, such as, for example, the contacts and the calendar, they do not yet have the modern UI. So you will have to switch if you use those features. So uh, that's that. Thank you for watching this demonstration.